wired up. As soon as Percy came home, the Fat Controller came to see Wilbert. You've done well so far, the Fat Controller told him, apart from drinking all that milk. Wilbert looked abashed. I'm sorry, sir, he said. I... It's all right, Wilbert, smiled the Fat Controller. A mistake any engine could make. But now Percy is back, you can go to help on Duck's branch line. Wilbert puffed away. Percy and the others were sorry to see him go. Duck and Oliver made Wilbert very welcome. Duck let him travel in front of his next train so that he could see what the line was like. Wilbert enjoyed this, but found running beside the sea very different from his sheltered valley in Gloucestershire. Next day he began regular work. During the afternoon he took some ballast wagons to the loading dock beside the small railway. Rex, Bert, Mike and Jock were delighted to show off their station to a new engine. Like the other trucks, those on Duck's line decided that they had better behave too. Donald and Douglas had kept them all in order, but Wilbert made sure they didn't forget what the twins had taught them. One day, Wilbert was at the ballast loader. As he tried to pull some full trucks away, there was a loud crack and shot suddenly backwards. The fireman got down to look. The coupling gear on the wagon has pulled away, he said. Now what? Beside them, watching with interest, was Bert. I pulled a train which was glued together once, when one of my couplings broke, he said. We need more than glue here, said Wilbert's driver. Then he noticed a coil of signal wire lying beside the line. Could we do anything with that, he asked. You'd never move the train with wire, objected the fireman. But what about just one truck, suggested Wilbert. I bet I could pull one truck with wire. Brilliant, said the station master, who'd come to see what was wrong. I'll go and tell the signalman what you're doing. Let me know when you're ready. The fireman wound the wire around the truck's buffer beam, leaving long loops. These he twisted into a rope, making a small loop at the end, which he fastened to Wilbert's coupling hook. A shunter uncoupled the front truck from the rest, and at last everything was ready. Right, Wilbert, said his driver, gently now. He opened the regulator very carefully, easing Wilbert slowly backwards. The wire tightened, stretched, and held. Slowly, the truck followed Wilbert out of the siding, and he could then push it into another, out of the way. Then, he went back to his ballast train. This time, there was no trouble. And he reached the big station late, but safely. By the end of his stay, the fat controller knew that an engine like Wilbert was exactly what he needed. I am delighted, Wilbert, said the fat controller. Please take our best wishes to your friends in the Forest of Dean. We hope your line there will be as successful as your work here. Thomas, Percy, Toby and Daisy came to the junction to see Wilbert off and whistled cheerfully as he passed. Beep, beep, called Wilbert. I've had a wonderful time, but I'm looking forward to getting home. Goodbye and thank you. And with a whistle, he rounded the curve and disappeared into the tunnel.